everybody welcome welcome back to my youtube channel i'm boring susan and in today's video i am talking about the kendall jenner 818 tequila look at here's two of the bottles and then i have the nejo over here as well i'm gonna review the tequila today i have a couple to compare it to as well in the range there's obviously so many tequilas out there i couldn't conclude like all of them but i picked some good ones to compare it to so that you can get kind of a contrast and see how it fits in the collection of tequilas also just a quick disclaimer i definitely don't know like all there is to know about tequila. I've been learning a lot about it since um, getting into 818, but I know uh, there's a couple other channels on YouTube who have reviewed this who are more of the uh, spirits and new releases of alcohol from really anything on YouTube. So if you want more of that review, check that out. That will not be this video. This is more of just trying it and seeing how it rates. Got mixed reviews actually, because some of the expert people were like, oh, this is a passable tequila, whatever, the ones on YouTube at least. Um, but then it also got some rewards, but I'm like, how much of that has to do with like a pay to play kind of situation? Um, who knows? I mean, that's all kind of a gamble. I don't know all that information, um, but I wanted to try it and see because I know right now I think it's only out in California still, so it hasn't hit all the states yet and even globally. I don't know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> This is the only one that I've tried so far. I have a lot of tequila to go through, so you know, this is a fun, what is it, like Wednesday to do, <laughs> which we love. Okay, um, I'm also outside, so if you hear like the windy breeze, just, you know, feel the moment. You know, we're outside, we're drinking tequila, we're having a good time, you know, you know the tea. Okay, I'm gonna pour some into here. Not a lot, I don't need, we got a lot to go through. My favorite so far in the Blanco family is the Casamigos. I think that's such a smooth tequila, so it's kind of a hard one to compete with in this category. So let's see, let's try this one. Okay, so it's it's good. It's good, I would say it's uh, light. I know a lot of the other reviews we're talking about, if you like the real taste of like tequila, tequila, or like the agave, that this doesn't exactly reflect that. Um, I'm not quite sure, I'm, to be quite honest, I don't really exactly know what agave tastes like, uh, but I assume it, it still tastes like tequila to me. Um, I think this is nice. My only thing with this one compared to the Casamigos is it has more of a like zesty notes at the end that give it a little bit of that like, you know, sometimes you get that tequila face, you're like, that's the only thing with this one. This one is also retails for $35. I'll put it up here. Or is it $45? That was the thing too, depending on where I went, depending on the price. So some of it was 35, some of it was 45. It's around that price point for this one. This is nice though. I like it. I think I drink it. I do think this would be really nice mixed with other, uh, like in with a margarita or even I've seen people do it with like Moscow mules, which I think would be interesting. So that's as far as the 818 Blanco. And then we will also compare it to the Casamigos, which is in the same price point. I got a little Don Romeo. Let's try this one first because this one's really cute. Um, this one also retails for about $35. So I'm just going to drink it out of this because... No one else is drinking any. Okay. I feel like they smell kind of similar. Okay, let's try a little bit. Oh. <clears throat> but this one has a stronger like front that it's like the same end notes as Blanco. I will say this one probably tastes more like the traditional agave. It definitely had a stronger front. So I feel like if you're doing shots of this or something like that, no, no, no. Or, you know, you mix it with a drink or whatever, I think it'd be fine. But then we throw in the Casamigos and well, let's throw it in and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit in here. Oh, that's a little more than a little bit. See, oh my gosh. I even have, oh, I even have orange. Oh my gosh, let me get my orange. Tequila and orange. If you haven't tried it, you have to. It's amazing. Oh, uh, see this, this. So mild, like so mild. And I know some people talk about additives in tequila because there's a certain amount that they don't have to put on the labels. So we don't exactly know. I think the Casamigos is the best one in the Blanco family. I would say, that the 818 comes in second um, in comparison. This one's just so smooth, so easy. This. Divine. Like, are you joking? Such a beautiful tequila. So, okay, so then what's the rating of the Blanco? I would give the Blanco three out of five. I think it's a, it's a good tequila. I'll definitely drink it. It's gonna be better mixed. I think is really where it's going to be at because if you're wanting to do you know take a couple shots be done with your alcohol uh for the day then like Casamigos is your guy uh but if, maybe if you want something cute in a mixed drink I would say hey, A18's cute I like her um I definitely like it better than like Patron I've tried the green label and I'll like that one and I don't like that one so I would say it's more mild so if you're looking for something that's not going to be too in your face bada boom bada bing big big tequila then 818's your girl 
let's try the Blanco. Excuse me, I should probably say which one, the Blanco. Let's move on to Reposado. 818 Reposado, which is the second in the lineup. This one retails for $45.55. It really depends. I thought BevMo did have better prices, but then I was like, BevMo says it's $10 more and then just prices it $10 down and it's actually like the same price as retail. So that's kind of silly, but let's open her up, give her a taste. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm excited. Let's give her a light pour. Okay. We're tasting, you know, we're not doing shots today, darling. We're doing half little baby ones. This is supposed to be, uh, generally speaking, when you do a reposado, it's supposed to be in the oak barrels for like six, eight months, something around that. Again, I'm not an expert, but that's where you get the, the darker color and it's supposed to be a little more flavorful. So we'll see. I know I've also tried, uh, talking about Cosmigos, I've also tried their reposado and I didn't like it. So I think I might not be a fan of this uh, category compared to the Blanco, so. That's just for reference. For personal purposes, I might rank it a little lower, I think. But let's try it. Okay, cute. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. That was really good. What? That was super easy. Very mild. I can taste a little bit of like an oakiness to it. Oh my gosh. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I just don't like that kind of episode. Okay, so Reposado, in my opinion, is definitely better than the Blanco. Oh my gosh, that one was really good. It has, it's just a bit sweeter. It also has, uh, it's just also like mild. I would say that's like the best way to put it if it's not like too intense of a tequila, but it still like counts as a tequila, which is nice. So again, I think that's why it's great for people who maybe you're not like the biggest drinker or you're not into like super hard alcohols or you want something that's gonna like taste good and not taste like gasoline, then here, here it is. <laughs> I've heard really nice things about the Casaduras uh, Reposado as well. It has the little, can you see that bad boy? So let's give this one a taste test and compare it to the other one. Um, I believe these are also around the same price. I'll put the price of this one up here. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's around the same price as this Reposado. If not, maybe a little cheaper. Oh my gosh, that one's really good too. <gasps> wow. As I take, I took, I didn't take that much. So that's, I wanted to taste it, you know? Okay, so those are definitely different though. The, this one has definitely more in it. I would say they both probably have additives in it because it tastes like multiple things and definitely on the sweeter side overall. This one though, this one's definitely smokier, oakier, you know. And then this one, was a little bit on the sweeter side, maybe more vanilla, probably. Both of those are really delicious. Um, let's try the Casa Duas again. Okay, so I think I actually like the 8181 better. That one has a little bit of something that I don't like in there. So Reposado so far is the champion in this category. This one's really good. Um, very easy to drink. I think this would be a really nice mix as well. I know too, I saw um, Kendall was drinking it a lot uh, in like promo for 818. She was always drinking this one. Um, her and Kylie were drinking it and also Haley were drinking it. So I think this one maybe is also their personal favorite. Um, and then I also have the 818, I mean, I'm sorry, not 818, 1800 to review or add to this. Um, I can smell from this one. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Um, so we're just gonna say that because it, ju it just smells really intense. Um, that one's not my bottle, that's my aunt's bottle. Um, so she likes it, but I don't know about me. So far out of these two, Reposado is the winner in my book. Blanco's good. I think there are better Blancos. Reposado's a win though for me. <laughs> the most expensive of the bunch when retails for about $65 and supposed to be sometimes the better tasting. Uh, a lot of times these are sweeter and have more depth of flavor to them just because they have been in barrels for way longer. So that's something to note with this one. Let's try her out. Okay. I think from what I've heard of this, I will like this one just because it is like sweeter and I do like sweeter really anything, but also like, what does that mean? Because for alcohol in general, it's not gonna be like sugary sweet. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, <laughs> okay. I don't even need this, but like this will just add a little bit of flavor. Okay, and Nejo's the best. Nejo, hey girl, hey. Okay, that one's really good. Okay, 
that one is just sweeter overall it definitely is definitely mild if we're gonna use the word smooth because i know that's a very popular word in the tequila category this one would be smooth um that one's delicious okay let's try it i have a good one to compare it to today um and we're comparing it to the don julio and yeho so i don't have the epic bottle but i have the other cool one so let's compare it to this one because this one obviously is super popular um in the Añejo family. Let's try this one in comparison to the Añejo from Kendall Jenner. So I like 818 better. Oh wow. And this is more expensive as well. This one's good, but I would definitely drink the 818 over the Don Julio, which drama, right? Drama. Let's compare them. So this one's way sweeter. This is definitely more of like a vanilla. Yeah, I can tell now what they mean by sweeter. Because this one definitely has like the agave or whatnot's a bit stronger. And this one's just like a sweet drink. Um, it was also compared to in someone else's as like a more of like a liqueur. Which I could get where they're coming from with that. But it's like absolutely delicious. So mm, we love. If I were going to purchase them again, I would definitely purchase these two. And maybe skip on the Blanco uh, since I already have a bottle of Casamigos. But other than that, I think this is great. I think the Añejo is pretty good uh, for what it is. Uh, being that it's about $65, it is more expensive, but Añejos overall tend to be more expensive. And I think also comparing it to the Don Julio and seeing that it still had a good rep and flavor uh, is really impressive because Don Julio is by far one of the most infamous, whether or not it's actually like the best, it's just, you know, we all know of it, right? And so this one definitely had some competition and in my book was definitely number one compared to that tequila. So very fun. Uh, what do you think about this collection? I know there was some heat about it and some drama, but there's always drama when it's related to the Kardashian Jenner family. So nothing new there, but I think that's fun. And I honestly was excited to see how these tasted and if they were anything of value in the tequila market, not just, you know, some, some fad uh, celebrity promo. But I mean, the George Clooney one, which I don't even think he's a part of the company anymore, I think he sold it, is fantastic. So I do, I will say uh, on the category of additives though, as far as these tequilas go, I definitely think there has been some enhancements in these tequilas to make them taste better. I don't know if that's such a big deal to you. Honestly, I don't really care about that that much. Maybe I should, but I don't, I mean, if it makes the flavor better, might as well. But anyways, I've been waiting since, what, it was like February for these tequilas to come out. So I'm super excited to finally actually have my hands on them. And if you're interested in them, I think they're they're great. I think they're cute. And if you're wanting to get more into tequila, then I think it's a great brand to try. I will say overall, it is a pretty mild tequila, whether we go from the Blanco, the Reposado, or the Añejo. They're all pretty easy uh, to drink and mild, which I appreciate because sometimes I don't want, you know, some gasoline tasting thing to drink <laughs> so i do like it as far as that goes anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see more uh, content from me subscribe like this video do all those things and i'll catch you on the next one my outro is coming in three two one